this video, I am showing you how I like to chain piece my dresses. Um, when I'm first starting, you have your blade. You want to take the longest side of your blade and fold it in half. You always want to send this side, the folded side, to, through your machine first and sew a quarter inch right there. So I just go and do this for every one of them without cutting my stitch or my, my thread, I'm sorry. Just like this and you just keep going until you have all of your blades stitched over like this. Then I just, I've got these little snips and they make anything that you do chain piecing, these little guys make um, this job so much easier. So now I'm just going through and I'm snipping the connecting thread. And this is what chain piecing is. So after you have um, stitched all of your blades to look like this, what we want to do is we want to turn them all inside out. And I'm just pushing my finger in there. And then after I get all of these done, I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of give it a gentle push. You just want to pop that corner out until it's a nice point. Um, I don't want to do it too much with the scissors because I don't want to rip the fabric or put a hole in the fabric. I just want to gently do it just to get a point. And I'm going to go and do this for all of them. blades look like now. This is the front of the blade and this is the back of our blade and what we want to do is press it now but we want to make sure that we get uh, that seam line uh, centered on, in, on your blade. Then we're going to put them down give them a press and we're just going to keep doing this until we have all of our blades done and um, I don't usually make one blade one Dresden plate at a time I usually try um, and do this for all of them so if each plate has 20 blades you can see how this would get uh, pretty time-consuming and, and Dresden plates are actually really simple to make, but they are time consuming. But most of all, the prettiest things are always time consuming. So, I think it's a good way to spend your time. I'm going to finish this up. So, now that you have your blades all pressed, it's time to put your plate together. Um, if you are going for a scrappy plate then it may or may not matter to you where each fabric goes but for me on this plate I'm using two different fabrics and I want those fabrics to alternate so what I do is I put one stack here and then the other color here then when I'm putting them together I'm going to I want to sew them together like this um, I'm always going to make sure that the one on my right side um, uh, goes on the top right sides together 
and you always want to make sure that you put your blades in with the finished side first so that it doesn't get tangled and cause you um, machine stress. So then I'm going to start chain piecing these. And I'm going to do this every time, making sure that my right side fabric always goes on the top. And also, another reason why you want to start with your finished side in your machine is because these um, edges right here need to match up, but this part in the middle, this part on the bottom that ends up being in the middle of your Dresden plate, it doesn't necessarily matter if that matches up because it's going to get covered up by your seam. And you see how mine are turning out to be off a little, but it's, that's not going to matter because it's going to be covered up. So if that's happening to you, just don't worry about it too much. And just like before, I'm just going through and I'm snipping the thread that chains all of these pieces together. So now I have all my pieces into twos, and what I want to do is uh, put them into fours. So I'm going to take and open these up. One small tip um, when you are at this part where you're chaining the actual finished blades together is to when you snip these threads, if you snip them really close to the edge like that, you won't have to go back and trim um, your block's little threads because this top part of your blade are going to show. Okay. So once you've got them into fours, we're just going to put them into eights. And there should be two sets of eight and then one four left over. I'm going to put my two eights together. I'm going to sew that little four in. So now all 
all 20 of my blades are connected. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two edges. That's what this looks like. It, it makes a circle, but we need to sew these two together. So let's do that. So let's go to the pressing mesh light and then I'm going to flip it to the back and I'm going to just pick a spot and I want to give it a little tug so I can make sure that this seam doesn't get folded up or anything like that. I want to give it a little tug and I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to just start pressing and I'm going to press all of my seams in one direction and I'm just tugging as I do it to make sure that there's no folds. I'm going to do this until every seam has laid down or every, yeah, every seam allowance is laid down. Once I've got them all pressed in one direction, I'm going to turn it over. to press it on top. And that is our Dresden plate. Uh, I think it's really cute.